irresistible force. The following contest is a fatal five-way tables match. And from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. The irresistible force on the grand stage, and it's nights like these that Nia Jax was born for. Never has a theme song been more appropriate for one superstar. Without a doubt, Nia Jax is not like most girls, and she's got a chance to show why here on the grand stage. She's competing instead of managing tonight. Zelina Vega remains all business. Vega knows that to get ahead in this business, you need a laser sharp focus. It doesn't matter if she's managing, competing. Heck, she could be selling t-shirts at the concession stand, and she'd still have a plan to be on top when it's all said and done. Guys, a win here would go a long way in proving that she is as good as she claims to be. And on the flip side, Cole, a loss could be very damaging to her long-term goals. On the big stage, it's time for a riot! And from Lafayette, Indiana, Here comes a troublemaker. A Ruby Riot has been knocking stuff over backstage all day. This young woman has nearly a decade of experience already, was a top contender in NXT. Riot is destined for big things in WWE. If Ruby loses, we riot. Well, actually, if she wins, we're in a riot too. Tamina is here to fight. And from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! I can't say I'm surprised to see Tamina come out here tonight in such a bad mood. Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen her in a good mood. Of course she's in a bad mood, Saxon. Imagine walking to the ring to do your job and then seeing your stupid face at the announce table. Oh, ha, ha, Corey, very funny. Corey, Byron does have a point. I mean, Tamina has always had a chip on her shoulder. Doesn't look like tonight is going to be any different. And from Boston, Massachusetts, the Queen. As the tables get set, let me remind you that the only way to win this match is to drive your opposition through a table. That's it. No pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, no disqualifications. Simply put your opponent through a table. Though I assure you, that's easier said than done. And she's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her career as well she should be. I can respect that, Michael. She clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. You must keep your opponent down long enough to be able to get a table. It doesn't matter how the table is set up, you just have to put your opponents through it. It's about doing whatever it takes, upping the ante in a chaotic environment because it could be the mayhem that saves you. One move is all it takes to be the difference between putting your opponent through a table and being the one taking that painful ride through solid metal. 
The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are in a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing. Look at this. That was nice drop kick. Well scouted reversal there. Boom! <laughs> Byron, what could be the deciding factor in a tables match setting? It is all about being able to survive a truly chaotic environment. You need next level awareness to avoid accidentally losing the match. And some of the biggest upsets in WWE history have occurred in tables matches. I think it might happen again here tonight. European uppercut. Across the top rope. Hot shot. Nicely done, snap suplex. So quick. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Oh, not easy. Back now inside the ring. Boom. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Drop kick. It hits the mark. Technical prowess from Nia Jax. Not what she was looking for. No breathing room here for Ruby Riot. Won't hinder your modeling career. This could be big. And down. And it's Ruby Riot with the reversal. Down to the floor. Defenseless in the corner now. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Boom, what impact. Whoa, not so fast. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Big back shot. Samoan drop. Interesting move here. Taking the match to the outside. Wow, I'm a little surprised to see this side of Tamina. Oh, man, by the hair. Setting up for it looks like oh, oh no. no a well aimed strike face buster all the way from the top rope Look at this. Nia Jax is letting everyone know exactly how she feels. Set up. There it is. Shining wins a cross. Drop kick. Beautiful. There she goes. Ooh, oh, what a headbutt. And again. Oh, we get to see. Hooked up. She's tossed. She get airline miles for that. We're gonna see here. Hung up on the second row. Neck breaker. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Inside the ring now. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Full control by the irresistible force. Oh, she turns it around. 
That's the arm. Right to the kidneys from behind. Nia Jack, so powerful. So dominant. Face buster. No superstar is showing signs of backing down. We are seeing all their best on display, but it might just come down to who can take advantage of a pivotal mistake. Right through the table. Got the arm. Right kick. I am so glad I put money on her tonight. Momentum fully in the corner of Ruby Riot now. Trying to go. From that. Oh man, Nia Jax doesn't even know where she is. Super kick. Nice right side headlock applied. Changes her fortune there. Disaster there. Right through the table. Hooked up. Oh, that was some reversal by Tamina. What a great job by Zelina Vega to take advantage. They can now admire her handiwork. Introducing the table to a match always delivers in this business. Take a look. I don't think she's ever looked more dominant. Another amazing match in the long and storied history of Survivor Series.